Hi, everybody. It's Rore, five-time best-selling author, internationally recognized speaker, and the host of the Entrepreneur Under Dark podcast. And welcome to this video. I'm just making a quick video to give my speakers what I promised, showing you guys the exact scripts and templates I use to get event planners to raise their heads, raise their hands, and say, yes, we would like to talk to you. We would like to get you on the phone. Then, after that, obviously, you got to know what you're doing to close the actual speaking deal. Um, if you need help with that, just email me, reach out to me, and we could help you with that. I do coaching on that. But in this video, I'm just going to get you to get a 15% reply rate. So you got event planners actually replying to you. And I'm going to show you my exact scripts and campaigns that help me close 25, 8K, and just speaking deals all across the board. So a lot of times when people do cold email, because that's what we're doing, we're doing cold email outreach, right? They just write too much in their emails. They are asking, asking, asking in their emails. And so what I want to break down is first is what you have to get the email open first before you can even try to talk to anybody, right? And so your open rate comes down to your subject line, right? And let's back up a little bit. First, you have to make sure that these are quality leads, quality event planners, and not people that you're you're spamming, right? These are people who are actually holding events and doing things of that sort. So you want to make sure your leads are great. If you need help with leads, I also do that as well. We uh, give you qualified leads in your niche, um, uh, hundreds of leads. Um, uh, of event planners in your niche that actually pay speakers. So reach out if that's something you want. Okay. So once you have quality leads, now you want them to actually open your emails. And so your open rate comes down to your subject line. So I'm going to give you the exact subject line that I use that works really, really, really well. And then after they open it, then you want to get their attention real quick and get them to reply to you. And the reply rate comes down to the actual email and then also, uh, once you get the reply rate, then you want to actually get them on the phone. Don't try to close speaking gigs through email. Sometimes you can. Um, I don't know why we think we can do all these stuff without actually talking to people, right? No, you want to get them on the phone. Get them on the phone. Say, hey, can we get on the phone and talk about your event? But anyway, that's, that's other stuff and just really dialing in and knowing what event planners want and closing those speaking deals. Um, um, we can do that as well and help you with that. I have a whole course that teaches this stuff from A to Z. So if you're interested in that, please email me, let me know, but let's get into the scripts. Let's teach you guys exactly what we do. So if we go into here and, um, this is the email service I use. This is just my email platform because it's a drip campaign, right? And if you look here, these in this campaign, I sent 941 emails. Half of those, look at that, half were opened. 76 clicked, and what they clicked is just my email signature to my website, which your website has to look good. And there's also some cool things you want to put on your website. Um, and then, as you can see here, 60, 16% report reply rate, which is just next level, really, really good. And um, as you can see, 152 people uh, replied. So let me ask you something. If you send out emails and 152 event planners re reply to you, that's 152 event planners raising their hands saying, we need a speaker and you can get those people on the phone, right? And so that's huge. So let's dial into, let's get into what I actually, what I actually say here. So here's my first email, as you can see. And so what I do is I send a drip campaign of four emails as you can see on the side here, but here's the first one. It's just simple. If you look at my subject line, the subject line is quick question, quick question will get almost any email opened because one, it implies Nobody wants to be in their email all day. And then people want to answer a question or something in our brain. When we ask someone a question, they just feel like 
they have to answer it, right? And so then we have to actually ask a question, okay? So quick question, and then it's hi, and then first name just plugs in their name. And then I just simply ask, are you taking speaker proposals for your event for your uh, event this year, right? And so let's look at the actual email. And so Elon isn't this person's name. Elon is just a random name it puts in when we preview. But if you see, it says, quick question. Hi, Elon. Are you taking speaker proposals for your event yet? Question mark. Then my name. That is it. Because we're not trying to sell them right now. We're not trying to book the event in the first email. We're just trying to get a reply. And then you have my email signature here, which looks good. My name, my title, and then they can click on my link. And when they click on my link, you want to make sure you have a professional website that looks really, really good. And just to give you guys a tip here, see where it says on the bottom left here how it pops? Danielle just booked Roy to speak in Dallas, Texas, verify proof. So what I do is when I get verified to speak, I populate that thing so that way um, they can see that Eric just booked Roy to speak in Dubai. And so that's super huge for... Um, the people who come to your website because it's that social proof. Um, and I didn't promise that I would give you guys that, but that's just one of the secrets we use because they see you're actually getting booked. They see you're actually busy. And so now that makes that gives the social proof that you're an actual pro and that they want to book you. Okay. So that's email number one. Now, this is a drip campaign. And it keeps sending them these emails until they reply. And once they reply, it stops sending them emails. And then you just have a conversation with them one-on-one, -on -one, right? So this is automated. But after they reply, then it's one-on-one -on -one, uh, person. So here's number two. Email number two. And this goes out after this. Go email number two goes, waits for four days and then it sends. So we don't just, you know, blow them up every day. It waits four days. And I just say... Hey, Elon, I know you're busy and wanted to make sure this didn't get buried. So it's the exact same email. It's the exact same email, but just at the top, I say, hey, I know you're busy and I wanted to make sure this didn't get buried. Right. And you're just acknowledging that they're busy, acknowledging that you're not wasting their time and just say, hey, I hope this didn't get buried. Then it has the exact same email underneath it. Now. This is super huge, what I want you to realize. Look at the subject line. The subject line says RE, then quick question. So it's like you're replying to the first email, right? And so that's a little trick so that people know you aren't spamming them. They know that you're an actual person replying to your own email, right? And so... On the second one, it's RE, quick question, and then it's the same email, and then you're just saying, hey, I just want to make sure this didn't get buried, okay? I hope you're taking good notes. Then three days goes by, and we send them another one. Remember, we're, send, we're sending these until they actually reply. Now, the third email, we get a little bit juicier. Again, it's a reply, quick question, and I say, hey, Elon, I am currently on a book tour. And as a part of that book tour, I'm also on a speaking tour. Wanted to add your event to the tour. I think it would be a great fit. What do you think? Question mark. Okay. So the first two didn't get to them. Maybe they opened it. Maybe they didn't. But they didn't reply yet. So now we start getting a little more into uh, more, more stuff. And then as you can see here, I say, here is a video to see me in action. And it says video for you, Elon. So it's video for you. And then it has their name in it. So that's very personalized. People want to know that people are reaching out to them, not machines and bots. They're tired of getting spammed. And yes, I'm still using a systemized system because we run businesses. We need to systemize things. But I make it as I make it as personable, personal as possible. And then once they reply, then it's just me. I'm actually talking to them. And then when they and then see this is a picture of me speaking at ted and just put a picture of you speaking your best picture of you speaking and then the video is to a video to your speaker reel or a video of you actually speaking and then it says roy 
And then because we said reply to quick question, we still have the first initial email here at the bottom. See that? Because we're replying to each email that we sent with another email. So they know that it's part of an email uh, a chain and we're an actual person. So that makes it personable. And I just, I love this picture. It's really, really cool. And if we click on that, that goes to my speaker reel. And it's just a YouTube link on there. Can't nobody do it like I do. YouTube and their ads. And then boom, here's my speaker reel. Best-selling author, public speaker, and performance coach, Roy Red has helped several pro athletes and just have more fun in their life and business. Bring me the Okay, so, and and then you can track, you you should be tracking everything in your email. So you could track if they clicked the video, if they watched it, and um, it actually really works. So all of these emails work really well. Then after you do that, here's the last email script in the campaign. Again, it's RE, quick question, and you just say this. Hey, Elon, at this point, I'll assume you're not, you are all booked for speakers for your event this year. Please feel free to reach out if that changes. We'll love to work together. And then it has the first initial email at the bottom because we're still replying to the quick question, right? And this is a really good email. It's huge because you're keeping your positioning as if, and, and you're letting them know I'm not gonna keep reaching out to you. I'm not just gonna keep emailing you over and over and over. No, now I'm saying, hey, you didn't reply. I'm assuming it's because you have all your speakers or you're not looking for a world-class speaker yet. You know, so I'm done emailing you, but uh, I would love to work together. If that changes, you know, go ahead and hit me up. And you'll be surprised. So many people actually reply to this email after that because they've been watching all the other emails, but for some reason they didn't reply or Maybe they were just looking at your website and you should be able to track who's looking at your website as, as well. For some reason, it's not the right time to reply, but then this gives them that call to action and they go, no, Roy, we may want to work with you, but just not yet. Or, and this is just huge and they can reply to these emails. So this email actually gets me more of a reply. The second most replies after the first email, the first email works really great. And then this one is second. And then the second email is third and then the third email is the fourth and those reply rates percentages um but that's it that is my whole campaign for getting event planners to raise their hands again as long as your leads are, are quality this will work for you you'll have a good open rate good reply rate and you'll book speaking gigs um, and you know, you know, you guys know speaking, one speaking gig can pay a lot of money. And even if they don't pay, you can sell stuff and make a lot of money. Um, you know, this is what I do. I teach people how to do this. I have a whole course called you on stages now, where we guarantee you that after taking the course, you're going to add 60,000 minimum to your bottom line. That's us for all my speakers who are outside of the U S uh, Cause we teach you how to monetize each speech. We teach you how to get it. We teach you the stuff we're doing here. We teach you what to actually say on the phone to close the event planners, like exact scripts on what to say. We teach you where to get leads. I actually can bring you leads. Um, but we have a whole course on that. We coach one-on-one -on, -one on that. And then I could also get on the phone and just help you on the house for whatever part you think you are missing. So um, if you need help with any of that stuff, reach out to me. Let's see if I have my email in here. Here's my email right here. So, you know what? This, this was actually part of a presentation. So, you know what? If you guys want a free 30 minute call, just email me. We'll get on the phone for 30 minutes and then I'll look at what you're doing to get speaking gigs at this point. And then I'll tell you what you need to be doing next. And if we get on the phone or if you need help, I'm not salesy. I'm not going to be pushing on the coaching. Yes, I do do these calls for free because some people actually do uh, hire me for coaching, but that's not what the call is about. I'm going to help you. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. And then at the end, I'm just going to say, hey, do you want to go further? And you can say yes or no. 
and it's cool. You know, it's cool. So I hope that helped you guys use those actual scripts um, in business and in life. There's only two things you got to master. You have to master how you feel about yourself and you have to master how to communicate the exact words, the nomenclature, because if you say the right things, people will respond and they will buy from you. They'll hire you. They'll work with you. Um, so if you're buying courses that aren't giving you scripts on exactly what to say and what to email, throw those courses away because that is the actual key is knowing exactly what to say to get people to actually take action. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. Till next time, peace.